Welcome to the Through the Waxy Show. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I'm putting in the title for today. I'm pinning it. It is about pigment gel that we're discussing. Uh, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. K, J, welcome. How are you? Welcome, welcome. How is your Tuesday going? Um, mine is going really good. I've been working this morning and then um, it's raining out. Um, hey, man. How are you? Welcome to the the review waxing show. Um, ah, I knew that would happen. I, don't know. I was trying to switch it or wave to you, and it went to what I have up. Let's see. Hey, um, Rachel. You know, I'm not even gonna try to wave. I'm just gonna say hey to you. Hey, Rachel. Hey, um, Bo. Welcome back to the Baby Waxing Show. How are you? How's everyone doing? How's your Tuesday going? Hey, Tierra. Welcome to the Baby Waxing Show. Hey, Joe. Welcome to the Baby Waxing Show. Welcome, welcome. Um, hey, Beauty by Key. Welcome to the Baby Waxing Show. Hey, um... I am more welcome back to the Three Blue Action Show, Marlene. Welcome, welcome. How is everyone doing? Let me know how you're doing. Hey, Miss Blue. Welcome to the Three Blue Action Show. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but it's raining outside here in Orange County. Uh, today I have a lot of information for you. So uh, if you are ready, we can begin real soon. I'm about to start with announcements first. Um, hold on, I'm going to put this somewhere. I'm going to put this on this little stick. Uh, we're going to start with announcements first. Uh, and then we will get into our topics. Hey, Crist uh, hey, Crystal. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. How are you? So is everybody doing good? I'm just going to assume everybody's doing really good. <clears throat> staying busy. If you're quarantined, staying busy at home doing stuff at home and then if you aren't quarantined you're staying safe out there because i know a few people who are still you know having to work having to really carry on their normal everyday lives um welcome to the 3b waxing show divas welcome welcome so i just hope everyone's staying you know safe hey katie welcome to the 3b waxing show staying safe um and you know all that good stuff. Okay, so let's go to the announcements real quick um, because today I have a lot of information I want to give you. I'm very excited about this information um, because I have a lot of ingredients to talk about. Um, I have things that are going to be interesting to you if you are interested in lightening up dark spots. Um, I'm going to highlight three major ingredients and I'm going to go into detail about all of those so I'm really excited about a lot of stuff and I'm excited about the product uh this is something I use and my clients use and love it and so that's what um that's why I'm excited but let me go through announcements real quick so uh the first announcement is the attract clients mini course for my estheticians who want to attract clients the course is still available it starts April 15th um, the last day in, to enroll is April 10th. So if you want to get into that um, course, it's 15 days. Um, you can do that by clicking the link in the bio, getting the last button, and then it's the um, second button if you want to check it out. But the last day to enroll is the 10th. And that is a 15-day course. Um, it's going by so fast. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, all for um, the books. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, more Mo Dupes. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, Trisha. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, Ro. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, Lot Pot. Welcome. Uh, welcome. I am sorry. I, I apologize for those of you I missed who've come into the room. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. I'm thankful that you're here. I'm just going through announcements. So the first announcement was the mini course for um, 
estheticians, it's still open. It starts April 15th. Um, if you want to do that mini course while you have some time, it's a good time to do that. Uh, the second announcement I have is if you want to purchase any products from me from 3B Waxing, um, the pads are on there. This product that we're talking about today is on there. Um, if you spend over $100 and use the code APRIL, you'll get 15% off. Uh, the third announcement is I am doing skin improvement calls this month. Well, I've been doing them, you know, I do them all the time. Um, but they are virtual calls. I'm also doing wax with me, wax with you calls where I teach you how to wax yourself or teach your boyfriend or your partner how to wax um, you. So that's been really fun. Um, you can do that by clicking the skin improvement call button when you click the link in the bio. And then for the month of April, if you do book that call, um, I will send you a sample kit of um, skin script products. So that will go out for you. Um, after we have the call. Um, those are my announcements for you. Okay, so um, welcome. Hey, Rebecca, welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. Hey, um, Ada Girl Bree, welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. Again, sorry if I missed you coming in. Welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. Uh, Fairy, welcome, welcome. Um, all right, so I'm going to begin the intro and then we're going to get right into uh, content. So welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. And so you remember, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. I am Becca, your pro waxer and skin therapist since 2010. I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, ingrowns through full body waxing, chemical peels and facials in Orange County, California. I have my own product line, which is my exfoliating pads that have been sold in the US, the UK, Canada and the UAE. Uh, the pads are one of, this is the fruit enzyme pad. The acne ingrown pads, I had one up here, but then I shipped it out. Um, so I don't have a model to show you. I don't feel like going getting up and getting it. But um, they are chemical exfoliants, which they're good for sensitive skin. Um, what was I gonna say about, oh, orders for pads. I'm gonna ship them out on Thursday. So I do have some pads I need to ship out. I'm just gonna do it on Thursday. Uh, welcome to the, those of you who just joined. Um, Besides products, I also help estheticians start their own product lines, start their own salon suite, help them attract clients, and help them improve their waxing technique. Um, I go live on Tuesdays, Tuesdays through Fridays. Um, Tuesdays today is product highlight, so I talk about a product and I talk about the ingredients. And the reason why I do this is so that I can help you improve your, um, improve your, ability to shop and understand ingredients and what's best for your skin so you can have healthy and um, beautiful skin. Uh, to take to ship to the UK uh, with delay because of the current situation. I'm not sure. It's funny you it's funny you say that you mentioned that because I do have one I need to ship to the UK on Thursday. So we're gonna find out how long it'll take. Um, usually, so far, all the pads that I've sent out have been getting there at a reasonable time. So there hasn't been too much of a delay. Um, yeah, I'm sending out one to, I think it's London on um, Thursday. So I'm thinking it's gonna be about the same, about a week to get there. Good question. Um, yeah, so Wednesdays I go live and I talk about um, esthetician education. Thursdays I do Q and A, and then Fridays I'm I do waxing information. So if you are wanting to know when I go live about skin products and um, products in general on Tuesdays, join the lab. If you click the link in the bio, it's the I don't know what button it is. Click the link about it, you'll see the lab. And then um, after you see the lab, you can join that and then you'll know when I go live. Welcome those who just came in, dig in. Um, sorry if I missed your comments, it's kind of going a little fast. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, L. Welcome, welcome, I know I missed a few. Missed a few people, hey, hey. Okay, we got through introductions and we are ready to go into content. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm trying to wave at as many people as I can right now. All right. Product. So.
so this is the pigment gel that um, we're focusing on today. So let me show you. So this one is the one I personally use, but it's the um, hydroquinone free one. But they do. I want to show you guys that there is one that's just the pigment gel. This is the sample of um, the one that has hydroquinone. And we actually are going to talk about hydroquinone and what what it is, what it benefits, and then you can decide like, oh, if I have dark spots, which one's best for me, the hydroquinone or the hydroquinone free one? Because there's some important stuff that I wanted to touch on. Um, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, uh, Miss Skin, LLC. Welcome to the Waxing Show, Melanin Dollhouse. Welcome, welcome. So thank you everyone for joining. I um, appreciate you. So that's what we're talking about, pigment gel. So, you guys know I love my whiteboard, so if you are taking notes, this is a great time, or if you're planning on taking notes, this is a great time to get your pen and paper uh, to get your notes. So, um, there are three things I want to focus on today, on why the pigment gel is really good. So, first of all, oh, hey, Nicole, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, hey, Roy. Um... First of all, the company that it's with is PCA Skin. It's a company I retail. Um, their their base, their main place is based out of Arizona. That's where I'm from too. But um, they are really they have really good products. Um, and why I want to focus on pigment gel today is because I've gotten a lot of questions in my email and DMs asking about dark spots. And then I also um. It's something I'm good at helping people with because I have struggled and I know how to take care of dark spots, how to fade them really well. Another reason why I wanted to talk about this, I totally forgot what the reason was, but it'll probably come to me while we're, while we're doing this. Okay, so I'm going to write down um, the first reason this helps. The first person who can benefit from this because sometimes... I mean, maybe like, you know, am I even going to benefit from something like this? So if you struggle with dark spots, if you've been following my page, you know, I've talked about um, hyperpigmentation and those kind of things. And we have really talked about how hyperpigmentation is just, well, it can be hormonal, it can be um, sun induced, but a lot of times it's from or from the clients that I um, talk with. And the, the hyperpigmentation I've dealt with personally, it's come from trauma to the skin. So breakouts, inflammation, uh, having hyperpigmentation is a way that your DNA goes and fights the, fights the, it's basically protecting you. That's what I'm trying to say. Is your DNA is, whenever you have trauma to the skin, it's trying to protect you. And that's why you get the darks, why you get dark spots. Um, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, Queen Queen B or Queen T. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. So, if you have dark spots on your face, also on your body, you can use this. This is a very good, I think the um, pigment gel is a very good um, spot treat. But you can also do it on your full face if you um, don't have an even tone. Um, so, you can also use this... Uh, on your vagina but what I will say with this is if you are going to do that use the one that's um, hydroquinone free because um, hydroquinone is really strong we're going to talk more about hydroquinone but uh, just to protect yourself I would say you know if you are going to use if you have dark spots on your vagina and you want to use it then I would use the um, hydroquinone free uh, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show, Ambi. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show, XP B27. Okay, so that's the first person who can use it. So if you have dark spots on your face, on your body, um, another person who can benefit from this is somebody who is already using vitamin C. So, um, for those of you who are already using vitamin C because you know that vitamin C is a good antioxidant, vitamin C helps with dark spots, it helps even out skin tone, and really uh, you should 
everyone should have a vitamin C in their skin routine. Um, if you're already using vitamin C, adding this serum to your collection is actually going to maximize your benefits of getting rid of dark spots. Whether you decide to use this as a spot treat or for your whole face, using vitamin C is going to like double down basically. So if you're already using vitamin C, this is just another serum to add on to it. I also think that, you know, serums are 70% more stronger than um, all other products. That's why they're usually more expensive. Um, PCAs are on, do have a higher price point, but that's because, you know, it's quality in their serums. But um, if you're already using a serum, then you kind of already know the importance of them. So I think that's, it's like you already know how this is going to go. You already have um, belief in serums and stuff like that. So you're going to get the maximum use because you're already in that routine as well of using um, serums. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, Elaine. Hopefully I said that right. If I didn't, forgive me. Okay, so that's the second one. The third one is, um, oh, why did I do that? I wrote, wrote four on it, even though I had three down here. Um, we have kind of already talked about this, uh, but if you do suffer with, and I'm not just saying dark spots, but, but like, if your skin gradually changes colors, um, I know that some of my clients have gotten like a ring, a dark space around their, um, mouth that we've helped lighten up and so if you have any uneven skin somewhere this is going to help as well um hey stanette welcome to the three boxing show hey miss quiche welcome to the three boxing show hey um salty mocha welcome to the three boxing show hey ariel welcome to the three boxing show okay so for those of you who just joined we're talking about pigment gel today welcome um audacious I did drink some water welcome to the three boxing show so if you just joined we are talking about the pigment gel and I have given three ways you can use it or if you have these things you're going to benefit from it. Um, welcome, Misty Blue. Since a lot of you are just uh, new people are coming in, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. And so you remember, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Thank you for joining. Um, I am Becca, your pro waxer and skin therapist since 2010. I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, and ingrowns through full body waxing and chemical peels in Orange County, California. I have my own product line, which is my exfoliating pads that have been sold in the US, the UK, Canada, and the UAE. They are the acne and ingrown pads. And then the, I have one here, fruit enzyme pads. Um, they are chemical exfoliants. Hey Crystal, welcome to the 3Box Room. As well as um, they are good for sensitive skin. Um, I also, help estheticians start their own product lines, start their own salon suite, help them attract clients, and then help them improve their wax uh, through my ebooks, courses, and classes. And then I go live Tuesday through Friday. Uh, Tuesdays are about product highlight, which that's what today is. Um, we're highlighting uh, pigment gel. Uh, Wednesdays are about esthetician education. Thursdays are Q&A, and then um, Fridays are about waxing. Uh, if you want to know when I go live about product highlights, then you can um, join the lab. Click link in the bio and it's the button that says the lab. And that's the email list that I email about information, about products, all the products we talk about. I go into detail and then um, I send out any specials going on for April. Well, any month. It's not just April. And then... Um, 
what else do I send? Oh, I send when I go live. So that is that. So, oh, and if you know somebody who can find this information valuable, I didn't say this earlier, please share with them. If you know someone struggling with dark spots, um, getting a skin routine, um, please share. All right, so hopefully you took a screenshot of this. And then you can screenshot it and then take it in your phone and then um, flip it. So that way it goes normal. Okay. So now let's get into ingredients. My favorite part, or the reason why I did the 3 Blue Action Show, how I did it, like um, what, how we do a product on Tuesdays is because I really like explaining ingredients because I know it helps you you know buy products better and get to your end result and when you know what you're putting on your skin and you're educated about it you just make better decisions okay so now my first language uh welcome to the 3 boxing show beauty by Andy my first language is English but my pronunciation is not always that great okay so I'm gonna, I wrote out the pronunciation. If you have problems with pronouncing like um, big ingredient words, this is also gonna be helpful because I'm finding ways to uh, say, to remember to say products or ingredients better. And actually today my husband had to help me. So he helped me remember a way to say this one well. So that's also a thing with ingredients. Are you gonna do sugaring too? Um, I have discussed sugaring. I wouldn't, today I wouldn't, but it would be on um, Fridays when I talk about waxing. So um, I have done it. I've talked about sugaring. I don't do it, but I've talked about the benefits of it. Um, but yeah, it would be a Friday topic. Uh, I do have on YouTube though, um a video if you go to becca hassan b-e-k-a-h-u-s-s-o-n-g uh on youtube i do have a video up about sugaring or the difference the benefits of waxing i know there's some i know i've done a show about sugaring so it's on there i don't know what the title is though um hey welcome to the 3b waxing show it's laney yeah you're welcome okay so the first ingredient I want to highlight for you, and even it's in this product, but it's also in a lot of products that help with dark spots. So, um, and the way you say it is as laic, as laic. Mm -hmm. I hope I worked on that today to figure, make sure I said it right. So, azelaic acid. So this is good for dark spots. Now I'm gonna give you the benefits of what it does. Um, this one evens skin tone. There's some properties of it and then this also clears complexions clears complexions so it clears skin So not only will you see it in this product, but when you are um, shopping for your products, you know, when, when you see this ingredient, you'll know, okay, this, if I'm working on dark spots, this is going to help even out um, the skin. And the higher you see an ingredient on the list of ingredients, the more of that product is in the more of that ingredient is in the solution. So 
with uh this pigment gel since it's hydroquinone free um it's just the regular ingredients list but if you get the big bottle of the pigment gel hydroquinone is the active ingredient so it's the highest amount ingredient in there and it's um two percent case you want to know so if you need to screenshot this And then you can always flip it so it looks the right way. Welcome to the Waxing Show, Chinsty. Hopefully I said that right. Okay. So the second ingredient. And this is the one that um, I think is going to be very useful to you guys to know what it, what it means when you see it in products. And then also you know that this product has it, so it's helpful. So I'm going to write it out. It's a long name. And just because things have long, long names does not mean that they are um, not natural or not good for you. So we're going to kind of do this together because my pronunciation of this is a little bit. I'm working on it. Okay, so it is Finn, Finn, Nar, I had to write it out. Um, phenol, ethyl, phenol, ethyl, resarsenol. Phenol, ethyl, resarsenol. That's how you say it. Phenol, Ethyl resarsenol. Phenol ethyl resarsenol. I'm gonna say it one more time too because I need to get it better and maybe this will help you. So thanks for sharing with us. You are so welcome. Uh thanks for joining. Uh Paige Alexis, welcome to the Three Waxing Show. Alex Ross, welcome to the Three Waxing Show. So phen phenol ethyl. And my husband today, because my husband's a writer. So he helps me out. Um, that sounds like a type of alcohol. Yeah, it does sound like it sounds like a type of alcohol. And that's why it's important for us to like learn these things. Um, all the technology cameras would show things the right way. Yeah, I'm not writing backwards. You get what you get. Uh, wax chick boutique. Welcome to the wax show. But what I said earlier, you're new to new to it, is you can screenshot it and then flip it in your pictures, and you'll be able to see it um, correctly. So, fin phenol ethyl, and the way my husband explained it to to how to pronounce it is the fin part or phenol. Is like the spice. I was like, I haven't heard of the spice. I don't cook, so he cooks. Phenol, so the spice phenol. And then um, Ethel, the, he said the girl from I Love Lucy. So that's how you remember it. And I love stuff like this to remember things. So phenol, phenol, ethyl. And then uh, resarcinol is um I mean that's just how you say it I don't have a way to remember that but now let's go into what it does because um like she mentioned like it seems like it would be alcohol no it's an antioxidant Okay, I'm going to write down what it does. Most even skin tone. Okay. So, it's an antioxidant. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that we've talked about antioxidants. They stabilize the molecules. So, um... The ways that our molecules become unstable is through sun, damage, not taking care of our skin, aging, smoking, all those things. 
uh, make our molecules unstable. When our molecules are unstable, that's when we our skin starts looking dull. It looks starts looking um, saggy. It just makes it just makes us look bad. Basically, I hate to use the word just bad, but you know what I mean. Um. So we need as much antioxidants as possible. So that's why I said that if you are somebody who's already using a vitamin C. You already know the value of using an antioxidant. You already know the value of using a serum. So you're just doubling up on your antioxidant. Um, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Oh, hey, welcome to the uh, 3B Waxing Show, Natasha. And then it also promotes even skin tone. So take a picture. If you need to screenshot it, write it down. Um, you can always flip it once you. So that is one of the main ingredients in the pigment gel. And it's in both the gels. Like we said earlier, um, we have the pigment gel and the pigment gel um, hydroquinone free. And I'm gonna talk about hydroquinone so you understand or you decide what hydroquinone is best for you. If it's best for you, if it's not best for you, that kind of thing. And I only have a sample version of the um, pigment gel. All right. Okay, so we did as lectic acid. We did um, phenol, ethanol. Um, now our next one is hydroquinone. So that's the one. And this is going to be useful to you if you are, you know, ha if you can benefit from it, like we talked about, if you have dark spots, if you're already using a vitamin C, if you have uneven skin tone, if you have hyperpigmentation due to, um, you know, sun induced hormones, trauma, breakouts, any of that. So you may just need to decide do I need the hydroquinone one or do I need the hydroquinone free one? So let me write this out hydroquinone. Okay, I'm going to write this out. And put it up and then for those of you who just joined in I will in reintroduce myself um here we go so welcome to the 3B waxing show welcome to the 3B waxing show and so you remember welcome to the 3B waxing show I am Becca your pro waxer and skin therapist since 2010 I help people remove and want to hair acne discoloration ingrowns through full body waxing uh chemical pills facials and products in Orange County California um I have my own product line that is my acne and ingrown pads and my fruit enzyme pads that have been sold in the US, the UK, Canada, and the UAE. I have the fruit enzyme pads here. The acne and ingrown pads are, are over there, but I haven't put labels on them. I usually have one here, but I shipped them out, which I'm shipping out products on Thursday. Um, they are chemical exfoliants, so they are good for sensitive skin, um, and they... Oh, I did, which I emailed this out, but if you do want to know the difference between chemical exfoliants and physical exfoliants, I have that up on YouTube right now. Um, side note. Um, I also help estheticians start their own product lines, start their own salon suite, help them attract clients, and help them improve their waxing technique because I used to be a regional trainer for a large waxing franchise. I do that with my ebooks, courses, classes, and the 3B Waxing Show. Um, on Tuesdays, I go live about product highlight wednesdays are esthetician education thursdays are q a and then fridays are about waxing um if you want to stay connected with me and you want to know when i go live on tuesdays you can join the lab um click the link in the bio and it's the lab or um i'll offer that at the end they said what do the pads do so the acne ingrown pads they help you if you have um Acne bumps, they bring down your bumps. Uh, they do that, you know, if you have sensitive skin, you can use them on your face and your body. They're, I originally started them um, because I 
do a lot of Brazilians and I noticed, you know, people get ingrowns on the Brazilians, but I was also working at a spa and a gym and people were on the go and I was like, oh, they're, you know, great for exfoliating the skin as well as bringing down bumps. Oops, that was my alarm. Um, but basically to answer your question, like not so long, they exfoliate. So that way other products work better. It helps your skin look less dull. And then um, exfoliating should be a part of a skincare routine. Hey, uh, Lar next session. Welcome to the 3 Boxy Show. Okay, so our last ingredient we're talking about today is hydroquinone. I used to not say this right. It's hydroquinone, hydroquinone, hydroquinone. Um, okay, so what's very important about hydroquinone that why people love it so much. Hey, Tiffany, welcome to the Waxing Show. Hey, my K2 beauty. Oh, hey, um, my K2 beauty. Welcome to the Waxing Show. Um, the reason why people love hydroquinone and love it in products is it prevents future hyper uh, pigmentation and so we've talked about how you can get um you know hormonal pigment sun induced pigment inflammation pigment well what this is doing is it's stopping that as far as um, basically pushing against the DNA that's trying to protect you. Um, so it's still protecting you, but it's like making it not pigment your skin. If that makes sense. Hey, um, Mrs. Too Blessed. I like that name. I think I've said that before, but maybe I haven't. I like that name. Um, okay, so prevents... Now, here's the things about it that make people like, okay, maybe I need the hydroquinone-free one. So, we talked about that. If you have um, kind of like an SPF, yes, but not an SPF. So, if you are going to use hydroquinone, you have to use SPF. Um, that, I'm glad you mentioned that and said that because even though it is still protecting the skin in that way, you the sun will make it darker because it's doing all that doing all this stuff the sun will make the skin more sensitive that's what i'm trying to say so that's why not everyone likes to use hydroquinone because but good example i get what you're saying um because it does make the skin sensitive so you already have sensitive skin then Air on the side of caution when using it. Another thing is because it's so strong, it can be drying. Another thing about it is that, um, and I'm not just like, oh, these are the negatives about it, but these are things that you need to know so that you can pick the best one for you. Um, if you are going to use it and you really want to, you know, work on the dark spots because it's great for dark spots. But you're like, oh, I have sensitive skin, that kind of thing. We'll just use it less. Um, any of my clients who use the hydroquinone one, um, just the sample size of it. Any of my clients who use it, I say um, use it in three months span. So if you're going to use it every day, use it for three months and then take a break for a month, two months, whatever is specific to that person. Um, and then... <laughs> Go, you know go back on to it so that is why this kind of bottle can last someone a long time um even if you're not using the hydroquinone one you may not always need to be using using the pigment gel like personally for me i only use it if i am having quite a bit of dark spots um i'm going through something i'm like okay i really need to work on it some of my clients will go through phases where they'll use this often and then stop so it depends on the person but ever pretty much everyone 
these bottles last a long time for them because uh, they're either spot treating it or they're using it ever so often. Um, so I said it makes you sensitive to the skin, so make sure you're wearing sunscreen. Um, oh, another thing hydroquinone helps with is melasma. If you have melasma, um, well, okay. Like, you were like, okay, it looks like melasma. This is helpful to that. Uh, how long until the results show if you would use it often? If you use it often, um, it does depend on the person. I've seen people who use it two weeks. They really have seen it. And that's, you know, they're exfoliating um, because when you exfoliate, you're, you're using it well. If they're not exfoliating, they're just using it. It may take a little longer. I say, I'm going to say two weeks as a general rule for that. Um, I've seen people do sooner, actually, but I'll say, but they were doing a lot of other stuff too with it. Uh, so I'll say two weeks, two weeks is a good, um, thing if you're really consistent with it. And you probably will see it sooner, but I like to, you know, give it more time. Um... And one thing on that, just that came to my mind, is um, you can use it morning and night. So I would prefer, I prefer a lot of my clients to use it at night just because I want them to protect themselves from the sun. But we, a lot of us are inside right now. So this is a great time to start taking care of your skin. As I said, I've said in my last, it was one of my emails, I said, um, Oh, you're new. You just you have you just came in. Um, yeah, you can take a picture of it and then um, it'll flip it for you if you just edit it to flip. So um, if you use it morning and night, and you're exfoliating, you're gonna see a lot of improvement in your skin. Uh, let's see. Let's see. That's all I really have for hydroquinone. So decide for yourself if it's something that, like if you're really trying to work on dark spots and you have sensitive skins, just arrange your, use it in the way that it doesn't make your skin so sensitive. Um, be on top of your SPF with it because it is strong. And then, um, but if you are gonna use it on your bikini line, I'd say get the hydro. Um, hydroquinone free. I've used both. They're really good. I prefer the um, hydroquinone free because I do a lot of stuff on my skin. Uh, if you are com um, constantly getting peels and those kind of things, like obviously not right now, but um, if you are constantly going in to get peels and stuff, you may want to do both. Like get use the one with hydroquinone when you are, um, you know, in the process, like right after your peel like a two weeks after your peel, and then go into using the um, hydroquinone free one regularly. Isn't it if you're pregnant or lactating, you can't use it? Yeah, mm -hmm. you cannot use it. Why on Accutane? That one, I do not know. I'm gonna say a no on that one. Um, I would say you would have to ask your uh, doctor about if you can use it when you're on Accutane, uh, because I always err on the caution of Accutane, that's because I'm a waxer, so, um, because you can't wax when you're on Accutane, you can't, um, your skin is, like, dry and more sensitive, so I'm gonna err on the side of no but if they say yes then i would just be careful with it but just ask them um i've done this with my clients who because contrary to be popular belief you actually can get a chemical pill while you are going through cancer um i've done it to, to my clients and helped them improve their skin because when you are going through cancer your skin takes a toll and um I have to be in contact with your doctor and have to show them the ingredients and stuff like that. So, uh, 
you can always get the ingredients from this um, on the website and just let them know. But I have worked with doctors before and my clients. So that is one thing I'm good with what my clients with is that I can work with your nutritionist or your um, whatever, whoever else you're seeing. Like I can work with you with them, work with them too to help serve you. So, um, hey, Diane, I think that's right. Welcome to the Three Boxing Show. If you found this useful, please drop a heart, let me know. Um, because it helps me see if things are useful, it helps me um, give more information. Hey, Gina, welcome to the Three Boxing Show. So, please let me know if you found that useful. Uh, if you did find it useful and you want to improve your skin, I do have a free perfect skin guide that you can grab. You click the link in the bio. It's called the perfect skin guide and um, you can download that and it has how to take care of your skin. Um, if you have dry skin, um, oily combination, all that good stuff. And then it has tips for you. Um, click the link in the bio. You can grab it. Um, what else? What else? Any questions? Now uh, I'll open up for Q&A for a little bit and then, um, then I'll get off here. But good questions throughout the thing too. I guess that's some good questions. Hey Slim. Oh, welcome to the 3B Watson show. Okay. So I'm going to delete. Uh, erase this. Any questions about hydroquinone, the the actual products? Um, yeah, it takes about two weeks for using it every day to really see a significant difference. Um, it helps if you're exfoliating, using a vitamin C as well. And then, um, oh here, I'll put it up to you. And even though it's a serum, it's more like gel-like. So, and it is on 3bwaxing.com, 3bwaxing.com, 3bwaxing.com. So it is salicylic acid, oh, I can see, is salicylic acid wash okay for dry sensitive skin type? It depends on um, how strong the wash is. Uh, you have to be careful with dry skin because um you don't want to dry it out with salicylic that's one of the things with salicylic that can dry it out so um it does depend if it's two percent i'd be on the airy side if you are going to use one with salicylic um then you kind of want to not use a bunch of other harsh products you know in your routine and you want to make sure your skin is not is dry and not just dehydrated because that can happen too um i could definitely use um use it the perfect skin guy oh yeah go pick that up it is um i don't know what button it is but if you click link in the bio you can download it it's quick easy free and it'll help i'm glad it's useful thanks for letting me know xxo welcome to the 3 boxing show oh hey Terry, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. So just doing q and um, I'm trying to think of anything else you could know about this product. I do drop ship it from PCA um, Skin. So, I'll take a little bit so you can see. See, it's like a thick, well, mine's is kind of thick. I've had it for a while. But it's, it is a, um, even though it's a serum, it's still like gel-like. So it's more of a thick serum. That's what it looks like. And then if you've been following me, you know that I think that people should use their serum, like to get the most out of your serum because serums are higher priced. Uh, they're, because they're more potent and they're just, you know, price tire. You do this and if it's a dripper, you drip it. 
This will um, save yourself on some product because if you put it in your hand, sometimes it's just, uh, you know, soaking up your product. So it gets you the most out of your products. So that's what we want to do. We want to, you know, spend, qual you know, have quality products. So we're spending money on our quality products, but as well as, you know, being smart about it. And... We don't need to use like a whole clump for cleanser. Um, when using a serum, should you still use a toner? Um, you don't have to use a toner, but if you do use a toner, use it before you put the serum on. Um, I'm, I don't push that you have to have a toner. Um, you can, it's helpful. There are toners, different toners out there that are really helpful. There's one that um, I've been um, retailing a lot of, it's the Mint. From Skin Squirt, it's mint. It's a mint toner, and it does really well because it refreshes the skin. Some people really want refreshing of the skin. When we were taught in school, we were taught that toners um, bring the pH back to your skin, but now that technology has improved, a lot of cleansers already balance out your pH. Um, but yeah, you can use a toner before it and then put your serum on. It'll be good um, if you like using a toner. Uh, I wouldn't get a toner that specifically tightens the skin because you don't really want that tightened feeling on top before putting a serum on. Welcome to the Beauty Waxing Show XX Forever. Any other questions? Mmm. The price of these ones are $64, but again, it lasts you a good amount of time. And it's your serums. Your serums, you always want to, you want to spend high on serums. Um, that's pretty much the one you really want to spend on. Um, cleansers, you know, they can be mi like mid-range, but it's always usually the serums. And then your moisturizers can get, um, be high. In your whole routine your moisturizers can also be higher in cost depending on what they do because like there's like the stem cell moisturizers oh my gosh those are they're really good but i mean they're a pretty penny but you know they're good hey vicky welcome to the boxing show hey forever love welcome to the boxing show um let's see that's pretty much it as far as your your um yeah your cleansers are pretty not that costly Depending on. So I'm going to leave this up for you. Uh, again, you can grab the perfect skincare guide. Um, yeah, and then um, I emailed the lab before I went on. And I'll email the lab next week when I'm on. Again, tomorrow I'll be on. Because uh, Wednesday is our esthetician education. And that is, we will be talking about product. Uh, we will be talking about starting your own product line. So we... We started the series last week. The series is going to go on probably till probably until June, honestly, because I got some stuff I have for um, my estheticians. But uh, hey, Simply360, I hope you guys have a blessed Tuesday. Um, you're staying healthy. You're staying positive. Um, you're, you know, reading affirmations, doing whatever you need to do to stay positive in like this kind of time. And then... I'm just taking care of yourself. So you guys stay blessed and I will see you next.